Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on a vintage gel polish design with the new NSI vintage gels. Um, pin tucked pink is what we're going to use for our base. So apply your first layer. I've already done an acrylic um, tip and overlay underneath. So I'm just going straight on top, no base coat needed. Um, straight on top with my first layer of my gel polish. In tea lamp, I cure for 60 seconds personally, mine is a combo lamp. Uh, second layer, exactly the same, apply straight again on top and then cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to apply a third thin layer and that's just so that when I do my design it doesn't, take, it doesn't stay really crisp, I want it to almost be a little bit uh, wishy-washy. So I'm using raspberry ruffles and not too shabby from the new NSI vintage collection and then using my detailing brush I'm drawing some very simple roses I'm not putting a lot of detail into these they're supposed to be nice and quick and easy um, more like a sort of Kath Kidson type vintage design so don't go too detailed with these quite nice and easy so almost just like little swirls some areas of thickness, some areas of thinness, nothing too special really, nothing too difficult. And that's into your wet layer of gel polish because you want it to ever so slightly uh, disperse, you don't want them to be crisp, crisp lines. So once you're happy with your roses, I'm then going to add some little leaves with the mauvey purple one. The not too shabby, it's really nice colour. So again, just some simple leaves, nothing too um, difficult, just some nice little pointy shaped leaves just coming away from your roses. Just a couple on each rose, different directions, pointing in different directions. But it's meant to look vintage, so don't put too much detail into it, don't make it too crisp. Once you're happy with that, cure it in your lamp for 60 seconds. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more detail, but this time I want the detail to be just that little bit crisper, which is why I'm doing it now onto the cured layer of gel rather than a wet layer of gel. You'll still get a slight bit of dispersion because I've not wiped any sticky layer off, so you're working onto a sticky layer rather than an uncured layer. So I'm just popping a couple of little bits more details on and then cure that into your lamp. Using the Pro Polish top coat now, I'm just going to cap this whole design with the top coat. And don't forget to seal your edge and cure that in your lamp again for 60 seconds. Leave it to cool just for 30 seconds before you use your NSI cleanse to take that tacky layer off so that you get that nice high gloss shine. So now I'm using um, a tack free white gel and again my detailing brush to add just that little bit more detail to these roses. So nice fine white lines just to really give a highlight to those roses but once this gel is cured in the lamp it has no sticky layer so it doesn't need wiping or anything like that again. So you can put it over the top of your top gel and it won't disturb your design at all. So like I said, just a little bit of detailing inside the roses and then once you're ready you can then move on to doing that little bit of detailing inside your leaves as well. You don't have to do a lot, it's just tiny little bits really, just adds that little bit of a highlight. And once you're ready I'm going to cure that in my lamp again for 60 seconds. So that's completely cured now and we can use our uh, NSI Nurture Oil just to give that a nice healthy cuticle and that's that nail done. I hope you enjoyed that guys. This collection will be available from the website as from April.